A lot of guys shaking their heads at what Andrew Feedman has been able to accomplish here. Let's start with the defense up the middle. You lose a couple of guys who defensively were challenged, and you bring in guys that round out an infield that's got Gonzalez and Uribe at first. Well, I, th I think the one thing about defense, uh, plus 25 defensive runs saved, is the difference between these four players. Which t it, You're first talking about Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez. And Gordon. And, yep, absolutely. Um, but more importantly for me, you don't just improve your defense, your pitching staff gets better. And that's a pitching staff that really didn't need to get better, <laughs> pitching in one of the best, most pitcher-friendly ballparks in the game. With, with the old regime, they were accumulating talent, and rightfully so, because they had this influx of cash. But now you're seeing Andrew Freeman, one of the smartest guys in the game, start to shape this into a real team. And now you're seeing what he values. And that's defense. He's always had it in Tampa, a big reason why they've been successful. And now all of a sudden, with those two guys up the middle, Jock Peterson likely to take over in center field. This is now a team that will catch the ball at a high level. And they improved the clubhouse a lot, too. And to bring Jimmy Rollins into that clubhouse and Howie Kendrick, who is a grinder every single day. But I can't wait till we see a Puigism and Jimmy Rollins react and get in his <laughs> face and try to fix it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But I love everything about what they did up the middle. And the Dodgers aren't done yet, yeah. either. You know with some of the people that they've added and the young players that they have that they may go make another big deal. Who knows if Cole Hamels is headed that way at some point. This is what Andrew Friedman really does well. Take a look quickly at the trade here that uh, involved D. Gordon and a lot of people initially, Jim Bowden, excuse me, was one of those who were like, wait a minute, I like D. Gordon. Why is he going to Miami? And if you're getting Miami, you're getting this Andrew Haney pitcher who's very good. Andrew Haney, who is at the center of so many of these moves because he was moved ultimately to the Angels for Howie Kendrick went to Twitter. It was great. In a span of one minute, he thanked the Miami Marlins for drafting him. He then hashtagged the Dodgers, thanks for the memories. It's been great to be a part of this. He got a call two minutes later and said, you're now going to the Angels. And he said, looking forward to on Twitter, playing with the Angels. That's a great sense of humor. For yeah, a kid. It certainly is great. And what I love about it, first of all, is the Marlins getting D. Gordon, giving them a top of the order guy. He led the league in stolen bases. Now with him and Yelich at the top, with those guys getting on and running, right. going to create more fastballs for Stanton and Ozuna in the middle. I love that part. And for Jerry Depoto, he's going to stockpile every young starter he can get. He started last year doing it with Tyler Skaggs, who's out this year with the Tommy John, but now he picks up this guy who's going to really help him. We keep hearing, though, oh, Matt Kemp's going to be moved. I mean, they still have Matt Kemp, and whether they move him and get you know, get Cole Hamels eventually somehow mm -hmm. for prospects. The lineup, at least with Kemp currently in it, is formidable to pitch to. They are tough. The one name I would I, that jumps for me, I don't think Howie Kendrick's done being good. I think his upside has still got some room to grow. The ball jumps off his bat differently than it does other people. And when guys like that hit, and you look at this lineup, he's going to be in the five hole. The top of this lineup, hey, Jimmy Rollins knows how to lead off. And yep. that, that, that to me is a, a big deal. Puig can hit from second to sixth. In the middle of that lineup, you've got, uh, you know, an RBI guy in, in Gonzalez, and Matt Kemp is the MVP. He was anyway for me at the end of last year. He's back to his MVP form. It, it still feels like there's a couple big moves the Dodgers are going to make.